every single 5 second on the earth, someone out there asks, should I roll for Staff of Homer or Constellation 1 on Hu Tao? Should I roll for Staff of Homer or Constellation 1? Should I roll for Staff of Homer or Constellation 1? Should I roll for Staff of Homer or Constellation 1? For some reason, whenever we talk about Hu Tao, this question always comes up, and the answer is very obvious. It's just, um, just get both of it. But no, but really, if you're not looking to get both of it and you're looking to get one of it, the first question you should ask yourself is, um, how's your financial status doing? Is your wallet actually can afford it? And most importantly, you have to notice that the character banner is slightly cheaper than the weapon banner. So are they really even priced at the same value? That is, of course, assuming that you can even afford either one of them, which, um, well, I cannot. With that being said, it is true that the character banner is easier to roll than the weapon banner because it is 2 pity instead of 3 pity, as well as the fact that the weapon banner is usually a scam. So while everyone's main concern is should you roll the homer or C1, what I like to ask is that uh, do you want to be out $300 and get scam, or do you like to be out $300 and get scam anyway, or you want to be out for the day and not have a place to sleep? But assuming that you don't really care about your financial status and you just really want one of them, then uh, the answer is actually not as obvious as I thought. But to finally actually answer the question, if you are a person who is not very good at playing Genshin Impact or Hu Tao or you just don't really care, then Staff of Homer is the way to go. However, if you are somewhat decent at playing Genshin Impact or you have the will or you're planning on learning about actually how to play Hu Tao, then Constellation 1 is actually the way to go. That is until you decide that you want to dedicate your entire life to Hu Tao, in which case, Staff of Homer actually once again become better. The thing about Staff of Homer is that it doesn't matter who you are and what you're doing, you will see the benefit of Staff of Homer no matter what, and that is it will increase your damage no matter what you're doing. If you have zero idea on how to do animation cancel, or you don't even know how to play Hu Tao and you're just doing normal attack on Hu Tao, the Staff of Homer is guaranteed to give you a damage increase even if you have a refined 5 Dragon Bane, and much more if you have it at lower refinement. On the other hand, if you have zero idea on how to utilize Constellation 1 Hu Tao, how to do the dash cancel, then Constellation 1, even if you have it, is not going to bring you any benefit. So again, this is for the new player if you don't know what you're doing. Especially when you decide to finally switch off Hu Tao because you don't know how to play her, you can just give that stuff of Homer to another character, potentially Xiang Ling. But that's pretty much the extent of it. Once you realize how to properly do dash cancel, once you realize that you do like playing Hu Tao and are willing to learn how to play her, you can get more damage out of Constellation 1 than a Staff of Homer, since Constellation 1 is about a 30% increase at max, while Staff of Homer is like 20%. Not to mention that dash cancel is strictly superior to jump cancel by a significant amount, and it makes Hu Tao much easier to play and less clunky by removing the stamina requirement from her charge attack. Overall, Constellation 1 is just a great improvement of life for your Hu Tao, on top of the damage that you can get from Constellation 1. For most players who are looking to dive their toe into Hu Tao and becoming a Hu Tao main, Constellation 1 is probably the way to do it, since it will give you more damage overall in a long fight, but it will also make your life a lot easier. But what you have to realize is that there's actually no rule that says you cannot do dash cancel at Constellation 0, especially when you're fighting short burst period of monsters such as a Hydro Hypostasis. And if you're really a true Hu Tao main that will dedicate your entire life to playing Hu Tao, you will be good enough at doing Jump Cancel at Constellation Zero to the point where the quality of life benefit at C1 is actually not that big of a deal. And when you dedicate your entire life to farming for Hu Tao Artifact, eventually your Hu Tao will be so geared out that you will do so much damage to the point where you don't really do long fight anymore and you can do dash cancel in your short fight, or you can just kill everything before you run out of stamina. Which means the Constellation 1 value will overall decrease as you depend less on it, or sometimes it just don't even matter at all because you will just not have any stamina issues even if you do dash cancel. Which means that the guaranteed damage that you get from a Staff of Homer is going to outvalue Constellation 1. And that's why if you truly dedicated your entire life to it without, you might actually be more beneficial of getting a Staff of Homer in the end in compared to getting a Constellation 1. But overall, it really depends on how dedicated are you are at Hu Tao. Are you just looking to play Hu Tao once in a while? Are you just looking to play Hu Tao like 80% of the time? Or are you really a Hu Tao one-trick pony and you'll never ever switch off Hu Tao no matter what you do? You're gonna farm for Hu Tao forever and you're gonna play Hu Tao forever. And uh, I don't play Hu Tao, so I cannot tell you that. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for the video and I'll see you all next time, alright?